I wish I could say that this carbonara dish reminded me of a great romantic trip I had to Rome with my husband, but unfortunately he wasn't just a great lover and appreciator of Italian food, he was also a great lover and appreciator of Italian women. On our first night there we went to this amazing restaurant and he ordered the carbonara dish. He had a few too many glasses of wine and started to be super loud and obnoxious and flirty. He was asking the waitress for her email address right in front of me. I was like, why are you asking for her email address? He said, oh, I'm just looking for this amazing recipe for the carbonara dish. But that waitress was super cool. She was so disgusted by the way my husband was treating me that she did in fact write down the recipe on a piece of paper and she handed it to me. When I think about this, it really makes my skin crawl. But a while back, my husband told me that a new woman had started with him at work and that she was born in Russia. So he told me that she was feeling a little bit homesick and asked me if I would make her my famous Russian dumplings. So a few days later, I made the dumplings and I decided to go down there and surprise my husband and his new co-worker. When I went down there and I met her and I saw the way that her and my husband were looking at each other, it's that moment that I realized that the two of them were in fact having an affair and sleeping together. And I had just made this little floozy, my famous Russian dumplings. If you're going through a breakup, all you need is homemade chocolate. Trust me, it's two ingredients so easy, just like my man and his floozy. I feel like I'm on a slippery, slidey slope. I cook and I eat as a way for me to cope if you're going through a breakup all you need is homemade chocolate trust me i'm just kidding never trust anybody every weekend when me and my husband would go out we would always go to the same nightclub it was our favorite club we really loved it in there and then one day, out of the blue, he stopped wanting to go in there. He told me that he just didn't like it anymore. I thought it was kind of strange, but I didn't really take much notice of it at the time. Then one night, he said he was calling over to his friend's house and they were going to watch some football and play some poker. And I was staying at home that night. But then my friend called me and asked me if I wanted to go out. So I said yes. So we ended up going into that nightclub and I was in there for about half an hour and we went up to the upstairs level where everyone dances and all that kind of stuff. And when I was up there, guess who I saw on the dance floor? My husband and that little floozy that he works with. He told me he had no intentions of going in there. It was a last minute decision and that he had just bumped into this girl from work. Liar, liar, pants on fire. If my mother-in-law calls me a liar one more time, I think I'm going to scream. She's telling everyone that I'm making up these nasty rumors about her son, her precious golden boy, that he would never cheat on me. Okay, I sent her a picture of him and his little floozy fooling around. And do you know what she did? She called me up today and she said that it wasn't him in the picture. What kind of proof will this woman accept? I figured it out. The only thing she's going to accept is face to face. So I sent her the location of this little floozy's house and she can go over there and confront her son and the little floozy and see for herself. Ladies, when considering a mate or a partner for life, I urge you to take into consideration a few of the following things. Does he have a wandering eye? Is he in position to hire attractive young women at his company? Is his mother a cold-hearted witch? I didn't think any of these things would make a difference to my life. But look at me now. Here I am making desserts, shoving as much sweet stuff in my face as I can. And my clothes are starting to not fit me anymore. There's absolutely no way that I want to be on the beach this summer and bump into my husband and his little floozy wearing her teeny tiny bikini. Absolutely no way. I need to get this revenge body. My soon-to-be ex-husband is really, really angry with me. 
I told his mum that he was living with his little floozy girlfriend and when she didn't believe me, I gave her the address. Well, she went over there today and I guess she doesn't really like his little floozy girlfriend too much either. They had a huge fight and the girlfriend ended up kicking him out of her house. He called me up today and said that I was a disgusting human being and now he has to live with his mother. Well, boo hoo hoo. I hope he likes eating soup every day because that's what his mother makes. If he thinks he's getting his foot back inside my door again and having any of my delicious food, he can forget about it. I'm going to enjoy my delicious homemade tapas now and good luck to him and good luck to his This morning when I woke up, I had 29 missed calls on my phone. I knew very well who those missed calls were from. My soon-to-be ex-husband. Now, he thinks just because his relationship is over with his little floozy from work that he can come crawling back to my house. I don't think so. Anyway, I decided to have a little fun with the situation, so I called him back and he asked me if he could come over and see me. So I said, of course you can come over and see me. I made his favourite blueberry pancakes and when I saw his car putting into the driveway, I pulled up a chair and sat by the door and I ate those pancakes as I watched him gathering all the boxes I had thrown out onto the lawn with all of his stuff inside. My soon-to-be ex-husband and the sooner the better keep setting up new accounts on social media to send me friend requests. I have blocked all the accounts and now he's calling me non-stop. I am this close to blocking his number as well. Two days ago, he was living it up with his little floozy girlfriend and when she kicked him out, he thought he had nothing better to do than to come running back to my house. He's trying to tell me that it was just this one mistake he made with this floozy from work. But when I went through his laptop, I saw all these other messages on social media he had been sending to numerous other women. Well, it's a good thing I took screenshots of these messages and I'm going to send them on to him now. I wonder what he's going to say next.